Hello and welcome to the Reconcast, a regular topic-based podcast show featuring myself and one, if not both, of my sisters, Louise and Vanessa, and within which we are going to discuss all sorts of things from games, movies, TV, popular culture, to the sort of silly stuff you might talk about with your mates, like zombies or time travel and such shenanigans. This will usually be recorded once a month and split up into three topics and a compilation. So, four separate videos that will be posted roughly once a week throughout each month. So, if that sounds like your sort of thing, then sit back and enjoy. Topic 1. With the Nintendo Switch event being last week, I thought we'd discuss everything you need to know about the Nintendo Switch that was revealed at said event. I'm sure I'll miss a few things, but I'll go through most of it, if not all, the important stuff. So, yeah, let me just get my notes. Oh, there we go. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the release date is March 3rd, so not, not, long, not, not long now, a few weeks, maybe like six weeks or something. Uh, the price will be $300 US and $280 UK. Um, the modes, it will have three modes, so it's got... Um, you handheld mode your typical handheld mode and then once you dock it you've got tv mode and then they've got another mode which is sort of like a cheaty mode because it's still really portable but uh, you've got this kickstand on the back so you whack down your kickstand you put it down and then you slide your joy cons off your little controllers and it's like supposed to be a little bit different but it's still just kind of like a more perhaps laid back way of it being portable but could be good for like party settings and stuff things like that so yeah, I thought we'd go into the uh, launch launch games next as well. Um, the launch lineup, like literally at launch on on day one, is pretty like bare. <laughs> like personally, I don't know why they didn't think right. to just maybe push this back to the fall because this is supposed to be the reason why um, they like have delayed it all this point or whatever is because of the lineup and the lineup's still not great at on launch day. But I do impress I'd imagine me. Most most people will probably be playing Legends of Zelda anyway, to be fair. But yeah, so it's got uh, first up, 1 2 Switch, which is this stupid, weird little game, which is like you don't even necessarily look at the screen and you do all sorts of weird little things like a uh, shootout or whatever, or Mexican standoff where you stand at each other and then you pull your little Joy Con up and shoot each other and stuff like this stupid. Anyway, Wii um, Sports. <laughs> it, well, it makes Wii Sports look. Wii Sports was really good, actually. I'm it not was into this good. Wii Sports. It was. Wii Sports effectively sold that machine, so I, th I think they were perhaps hoping that this will, but it won't. It won't. <laughs> it definitely <laughs> won't. Um, then we've got uh, Legend of Zelda, of course, Breath of the Wild, which we talked about. That looks amazing, and that's going to be really good. Always value for money, Zelda. And it, it's like never cool. Never seen it's, a bad one. Really. It's like takes takes everything learnt from Zelda and then brings it into like your usual open world things or things that we're more familiar with these days you know so that looks cool that'll be a system seller but then th aside from one other the rest are pretty weak there's only like six or seven so the next is skylanders imaginators i think it's called just marvelous dance if you said yeah. <laughs> just dance 20 uh 2017 which oh. is it sells really well but it's a bit niche um, isn't it yeah it's not a system seller is it a uh, Super Bomber Bomberman R, which looks really cool, which is like okay. bringing bringing back the Bomberman sort of vibe, which we we we've talked about previously. We'd like to play and stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's a game from another platform or something, and they've it's uh, just like a a remake. A reboot. You know that what doesn't the fucking game industry love now about reboots? They just seem to do it with everything, mm. don't they? Not even a reboot, but a remaster or whatever. Then uh, Snipper Clippers, which is like a weird. Like it's hard to explain, but sheep shearing these... simulator. So sort of, you've got these two characters, <laughs> and you've got to like fix them into shapes, and then you've got to get with your other character and cut certain bits off them, and they cut bits off you. It looks a bit simple, but it actually looks like it would be a lot of fun. But then again, not a system seller. And then has been heroes. I don't really remember what that is, but I remember not being interested. <laughs> so that's it. That's the day one lineup. Oh dear. Which, which for me is a. a kind of weak so I'm i mean surprised if anything... they didn't bring a mario out with it 
I know. Well, that's the thing. There is a Mario come in, but mm. it's not at launch. Um, there are arguments that, yeah, sure, why bring out Zelda and Mario at the same time? Uh, because you're only going to play one game, but I don't think that's technically true. I think you'd probably flip between the two. I think two. you'd probably buy both. Yeah. They're different it's... enough that it's relevant. Yeah, exactly. And Mario, Mario's the seller. Like, Zelda, people think Zelda sells a lot more than it does. It doesn't. Mario's the big, still the big ding a ling on uh, Nintendo. So. Naturally. Um, there's um, other games coming out throughout 2017, so I'll just go through them really quickly. Uh, I am Setsuna, which is already released on other consoles. A lot of these what are already. What is that? I've heard of this. It's um, an RPG. Uh, it's supposed to be like an Ode to Chrono Trigger. So okay. So Chrono instead Trigger of like, is, is you remember? Yeah, you remember how like in, you know how in Final Fantasy you go into like a battle phase, and Chrono Trigger is is more like that. It's like um, it's in the world. Do you know what I mean? And you fight it in that moment and stuff. So mm. you know. Yeah, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Sonic Mania, which is like this like 2D Sonic mm. reboot thing, which was cool. Arms, which is uh, it, this is really is there at the moment their version of Wii Sports. It actually looks kind of cool, but then it's it's also it's like how long is that you're going to be interested in this game for? Like six hours or something. So basically, um, as I also discussed later, the Joy Cons have got motion controls like the Wii. So mm. what it is, it's like a boxing game, but you're at a distance and your characters like shoot your arms off on these massive springs, hence the name Arms. Um, Good thinking there. And, Creative and you, title. And you zoom into each other and like box them and you can like twist them and then you it's all like motion control. So if you push your hands together in a certain way, it blocks and then you can jump and like uh, block. And, not all of it. I, don't, I think the jump and the dash isn't motion control but yeah you hold them both in your hands so that's basically what the, they're trying to be like their Wii Sports it's like the the new equivalent of like Wii Boxing uh, for me it reminds me a bit of like Wii Boxing and that Pokken, Pokken game I think it's called or whatever the you know the Pokemon fighting game on the Wii U uh, so it reminds I'm not familiar that's that's what it sort of reminds me of in that sort of thing so that's what they're trying to go for with that but like I said how long are you going to be interested in that maybe six hours or something and then you're like hey whatever um splatoon 2 nba 2k 16 um skyrim which is cool but or a really old game but cool that's yeah. been on, on the switch um and that's that'll be out in the autumn uh super mario odyssey the new mario game which actually looks really good but it's mm. not going to be out till the fall in the holiday season so you know you probably could have done with that at launch and then something else again um mm. Minecraft, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, uh, various Dragon Quests, all sorts, from the newest ones that are going to be out on like, PS4 and Xbox to like, older ones remastered and stuff. Um, Final I Fantasy... love a bit of Dragon Quest. Yeah, you can't go wrong with like old school Dragon... Not that Dragon Quest Heroes malarkey. That's all like hack and Dragon slash. Quest 8 is coming out on DS. 3DS, which isn't is it already made, out? Uh, it may be. I know it's any time now. Mm. Uh, it's amazing, but I yeah. smashed it long, would, long ago. I would like to play that again because I played it on PS2 but a, never beat it. So I know a boy who is going to buy that. Uh, it's I'm his sure, favourite game. I'm sure you do. It's a good game. It's a really good game. It's his favourite game. I didn't think he played it at the time. He wasn't old enough. It's He did. He he got he did better than me. Oh, the shame. Really? Uh, there's there's um like some post-game stuff that I could never be bothered with and he smashed it. How, he wasn't very how old, old would he have been then? He couldn't have been old. Um, if he's doing better I than you. I don't know. I bet he was about 11 or 12. I didn't say mm. better. I just said he got further. Yeah. <laughs> but no, he was really good at it. And it's a brilliant game. Brilliant. No, it is good. It is good. I just kind of... I got... It's the typical RPG thing where you stop playing it for a while and then you're like, where the fuck am I? What's happening? Mm. How do I do this? I've got some pots. I've got to mix some vegetables in. What's going on? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, I just couldn't continue on at that point. So yeah, It's good to hear a bit more Dragon Quest. Yeah, that's cool. Um, as an FYI, we were talking about uh, my nephew there. Or whatever, so, uh, <laughs> just for a bit of context. Uh, yeah, let's get into the next ones then. Where are we? FIFA 17, which obviously we're not interested Ooh, in. But, amazing. But, yeah, it sells. That game sells, of trust course. me. You know. Steep, which is that like weird snowboarding game. Rayman Legends. Farming Simulator, <laughs> which I I'm sure is... I don't get that. Have you ever seen it? 
Yeah, it's you've got to think of it like a Sim City, but for like weird farming nerds. Um, yeah, I think I've basically never met one. <laughs> no, I've I've heard anecdotally of people who play it, but um, I I think it's basically just like a Sim City or any manager type of game, like a football manager, like you know, even if they're not obviously into farming, which a few people you know, are. I've I've had a few Harvest Moon moments, but that sounds really yeah. weird. Yeah. It's just like it's like a Sim City thing. I'm not <laughs> interested in city architecture, but I'll play, you know, city skylines, city whatever the fuck it's called. But you know what I mean? so. instead of Godzilla turning up, it's uh, Plague of Locusts. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a foot and mouth disease or something. Oh no! <laughs> it's like, oh no! It's, you've lost some cattle. Oh crap! Um, yeah, I, I don't think it'd be a system seller, but I'm sure it must sell copies. Otherwise, they wouldn't make it, would they? So. Uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Shovel Knight this is the best name out of all of them it's just such nonsense Project Octopath Traveler that sounds uh, amazing yeah it looks quite cool actually it's a weird sort of like 2.5D sort of RPG but it's like in it's almost like it's in old school 2D style but it's it's hard to explain it looks cool <laughs> um, Stardew Valley and Ukulele there's some others that I've not put in because they didn't particularly interest me in any way. Not that some of these do, but yeah, anyway. So there's some others missing and stuff, but that's the general gist of uh, 2017's lineup. Mm. Most, I'd imagine some of these will get pushed back, but you know, that's just fucking video games these days, isn't it? They always get pushed back. So. Oh, video games. What about games that line? These days. When hey, I was a lad. Youngins. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wiffle ball. Um. <laughs> Uh, skittles oh back in the day uh yeah so do, what about that lineup that 2017 lineup any of that do anything for you there's a few titles amongst them but i can get them on other mm. consoles yeah i mean Z that's a lot of the problem is zelda i always out. feel a bit sad about zelda but i'll get over it yeah i think it's that the, you miss it it's the thing stuff. it's the only I think thing one one of the best things about this is the price. I mean, the price is quite low. It pro Maybe with some of the stuff we'll talk about later, maybe it should be a little bit lower. But I think it's a decent price, $300, £280 at launch, because it will drop, obviously, over time to some. I don't know. You can get a PS4 for 280 now quite easily. That is a that is a good argument, probably with a game as well. Yeah, they're um, all in bundles. Yeah. Um, that is a good argument. I've heard that argument before that you can get Xbox One S's and PS4s, but I suppose this is maybe this is should be geared toward people who have already got one of those consoles. Because if you are in that argument of which console do I get, without doubt you get a PS4 probably, and if not a PS4, you're definitely going to get an Xbox One S. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, um, um bless yeah. them, bless them for trying, and bless them for trying the same strategy every time <laughs> yes. they bring out a console. As the they Wii certainly yeah, stick the, to the... it, if nothing else. And wow, well, like they that. stick to the guns. You, yeah, you've got to give them that. <laughs> I mean, there's some, like I said, there is some great games in here that I'd, I'd be stuck to play, <laughs> but a lot of them are already out and will be out on other systems. Mm. So aside from Zelda and Mario, which are look like I'll super dope. It. Yeah. You know, there's not a huge amount to bring you back. I mean, because I never had a Wii U, things like Mario Kart 8, would be quite exciting to me maybe even splatoon mm. but um to someone who already owns a wii u it's like well zelda's going to come out on the wii u so why don't i just wait till fall till mario comes out I, i'd imagine that's what a lot of it, people would do it just never feels it doesn't feel like a console for really for adults it's oh we haven't mm. got anything in the house i'll buy this for the kids but i'll also get myself skyrim and zelda yeah they're, they're trying to sort of bridge that gap, but I think the problem is, is there's like that bridge is so far and it's almost burnt to doesn't a crisp. It, doesn't it seem like trying the to rebuild same, it same is old difficult formula one. to me? It does. It is a bit, but a lot of what I've been hearing is them saying that people are saying that they just really don't have relationships with third parties anymore, and they're trying, but you know they just can't spin the wheels in motion quick enough. Do you know what I mean? Because they, mm. they really haven't supported third party for at least two generations, if not a little bit more. You Well, perhaps what they should be doing <coughs> rather than 
trying to snag these people who have long-standing contracts with the other consoles is perhaps they should try be brave reach out to newer companies yeah and they I just mean, not might un... find a gem you get the right um you get the right set of games uh, yeah uh, promote it it well. can sell you forever can't it you know mm. i mean perhaps sony's done really well with key. Make... Sony's done really well with making relationships with other companies like From Software for Bloodborne and stuff like that. Mm. Oh, made good, haven't uh, they done well with that? Mm, exactly. And, and the and Dark was... Souls, they're brilliant games, they yeah. are. So, you know, they have um, they need to do that. And also, they need to do what Xbox and PlayStation do and put their money where their mouth is. They've probably got more money than um, Sony, without a doubt, in their coffers. So mm. buy some fucking exclusives. Do you know what I mean? Buy a, buy a one-year exclusive with the next, I don't know, whatever, you know. The next big thing, yeah. Yeah, you know, buy a, buy a one-year exclusive with the game, and like a Titanfall or whatever, you know. You know, it will, I don't know if it will sell consoles, but it will definitely legitimise their console mm. as like more than like a kid's toy, like, you know. Which I, I think they're trying. I, I, I think the hardware is very adult. I just think everything else about it seems mm. typical Nintendo so far. Anyway, let's go on to a couple more uh, things. Uh, battery life will be anywhere from two and a half hours, undocked obviously, uh, to six hours for less intensive games. So if you're like pushing a really hard intensive game, like perhaps like Zelda, you're looking at about two and a half, three hours on, um, you know, portable mode. But if you're doing something less that's like, say, a port or like an, um, a Nintendo classic, you're looking at about six hours or so. So... Yeah. <clears throat> Um, t to be fair, the the Nintendo uh, 3DS, I think it is, at launch had a range between three to, I think it was like seven hours or something. So this isn't crazy out there, ridiculous, but it is My a bit 3DS like... 3DS will go for four or five hours easy. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying is they had the same... So maybe they're just trying to protect themselves and get ahead of the curve. Maybe they're that's like That's not a guaranteed... very long party. It's not very long, no. <laughs> Really? It's like, but, um, it's like when you're seven, you've got time to have a little bit of a pass the parcel, a bit of jelly and ice cream, party's over, <laughs> two hours, you're going yeah, in. Yeah, two and a half hours isn't great, but I, I don't know, I think they're probably thinking that if you're out and about, you're probably, you know, you're probably going to be in a place where you could charge your console, or on a plane, maybe, something like that, maybe that's what they're thinking. Right. But... It's not an unreasonable amount of time. I'd say three hours is the bare minimum for like a highly intensive game. And if you can get six hours for less intensive games, then you know that's cool. Stop, stop defending it. I'm not coming to your party, Nathan. I'm sorry, <laughs> not uh, well, interested. I'm, You'll probably I'm hire not... a clown. Forget mm, it. I'd hire one of those cre creepy clowns that like <laughs> been freaking people out all over America and shit. That's what who I'd employ. <laughs> um yeah um also it should be charged by usb type c which is like usb 3.1 or whatever basically it means i think it charges a little bit faster and has um you know it's better at pushing you know bandwidth information through so if you're i don't know what you'd use it for because you you probably use wi-fi but i don't know maybe for like firmware or something i don't know anyway um <laughs> It can do that, and it's uh, it would be useful perhaps for transporting data and stuff like off memory cards and things. But again, that's that doesn't really make sense because uh, the memory cards are um, SD cards, which is good. So that's another thing. It'll have yeah. 32 gigabytes of internal storage, which is fuck all. But mm -hmm. uh, on the upside, it can take regular SD cards, which you can get for peanuts. Um, I originally thought it was going to be up to 256 gigabyte gigabyte per memory card but apparently they might be able to take up to one terabyte sd cards which is pretty fucking cool yeah and the the speed at which they'll be able to transfer off the memory cards compared to like a, a regular hard drive will be like probably twice as quick or something which is quite cool so they haven't done the vtar and made proprietary memory cards which quite possibly was a big part of why that system sunk yeah. Um, so yeah, um, it takes uh, uh, game cartridges instead of discs, which is cool. Again, that'll give faster writing speeds, which means you'll probably will need less information on your hard drive, as opposed to like your Xbox and your PS4, 
because like Blu-rays that don't aren't don't read the information quick enough. So you can probably mm. read a lot of the information off the um, cartridge. Um, so you wouldn't need to put it on the hard drive of the system, which is kind of cool. Mm. So there, there, there are there's definitely some pros to it. Um, input methods next. Um, it has a 6.2 inch 720p touchscreen for the regular portable mode thing. And mm. two Joy-Con controllers that have motion controls similar to the Wii, as discussed. So there's some there's some good in there. It's a mixed bag, um, but there's some good in there. Uh, next, we'll talk about some bad. Um, <laughs> the Nintendo Online Network, uh, which is just it seems like it's about a decade behind the other the other networks. Uh, you will be able to play online games and have chat functions similar to other consoles. However, it seems at the moment you can only do voice chat via a phone or tablet app, um, which just seems ridiculous and archaic to me because why wouldn't you just use Skype or something? <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's not so does that. Um, it will also have a paid for, it will also be a paid for subscription service similar to Ooh. PlayStation and Xbox. Ouch. Um, it will be f free up until the fall of 2017. Um and apparently to sweeten the deal, you get a free NES or SNES um, game each month. However, once that month is over, that game will be gone. And unlike PlayStation and Xbox, you don't get to keep that as long as you have your subscription. So what if you're halfway through? Yeah, when it's gone, go Insanity. buy it. Insanity. So you greedy. Save, you save will probably keep, but yeah. So Shame. <laughs> this net... For this... shame yeah Honestly. it's re that's it's really bad like the network thing um so this network thing had better be fucking cheap as chips and even then i'm not sure it's worth it i did not know that the price has not been said so it could be like five dollars or ten dollars you know a year or whatever but it's a funny thing but uh i've been playing pokemon and i want to buy pokemon bank which costs mm. five pounds however yeah if you go into the shop to buy the, um, obviously, maybe you could use a card, but if you go in mm. to buy the uh, vouchers from the shop, you can only get a £15 voucher. In a real world shop you're talking about? just Yeah, in game yeah. or somewhere like that. Uh, I've never seen one lower. So to buy my £5 uh, Pokemon bank, I have to spend £15. Why, why don't you do it online or something? Have you got a... Surely uh, Ricky, Ricky's got a PayPal account or something. Uh, I guess, but it's just the point. They're kind of greedy. Oh, no, they are, yeah. It's like putting microtransaction in a Pokemon game. I didn't even know that was a thing. So, mm -hmm. you know. And Nintendo have normally been really good at not fucking around with microtransactions and stuff. But, you know, they, they like you say, they're all greedy. They want their money. And, like, how many times has um, Nintendo resold its classic games on every generation? It's not like a They're PSN still account. Doing it, yeah. Yeah, or um I forget what the Xbox the Xbox Live account, whatever it's called, Xbox Gold, whatever it's called. It's not like that where um I can like take I'd imagine I'll be able to take all my games from my PS4 and like if they're applicable on PS5, whatever that is, I'll mm -hmm. be able to play them because I own them and it's on the network. It's like Steam, it's like I can play that shit anyway. Yeah. But, provided it's not a new version of it, yes. Yeah, pr yeah provided so. it's not a remaster or something. And, um, you know, uh, and Nintendo are just constantly like reselling the same game to you over and over again. Every fucking generation. It's like, oh, you're being a bit of a fucking skinflint, Nintendo. So, yeah, and it, it gets worse from there. There's some other news that's pretty bad. The accessories... Uh, the Nintendo Switch accessories prices mm -hmm. are ridiculous, okay? A spare dock will cost you $90, um, which is... Mm, that doesn't sound too unreasonable. Sounds reasonable. A set of Joy-Con controllers will cost you $80. A Eight, for, for a set? For, a for single? two. For two, yeah. One each hand, yeah. Can't buy a, them single. You can. A single Joy-Con will cost you $50, okay? <laughs> If you want the Pro Controller, you're looking at $70, yeah? If you want to figure that out as a UK exchange rate thing, which I'm, which doesn't favour us, really, you basically subtract £10 from each of those, because I've looked it up. So the, the dock's £80, the controller's uh, £70, uh, a single controller's £40, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Pro Controller's 60 So it makes PS4's expensive controllers look like 
fucking cheap as chips. Jesus. For a console that is attractive to children yeah. who like to uh, break things regularly, yeah. what are they thinking? Yeah. It ain't pocket money. It's crazy money. I get the Joy-Con controllers probably have a lot of tech in them. They're probably a bit expensive, but they should they should probably be willing to make a loss on them for a while because I mean, the they prices look neat, they're charging are ridiculous. Would you, also, would you also say they look a bit flimsy? Well, the whole point of it is is it's a portable console. You can separate them from the system. How many of those are going to get lost? How many, How many? you know, you're going to lose one, aren't you? You know you're going to lose one, your right one or your left one. You're going to leave it on a plane or in a car or wherever, on a bus. Or damaged when it's thrown in a bag or... Yeah, and then, you know... <laughs> They're not stupid. They they got to make the money somehow, haven't they? And they boy, are stupid because yeah. once again they're shooting themselves in the foot. Mm. It's really not yeah. like they. Sh I I get some of these things will be expensive to make, but they should cut cut the price and take a loss. I think because um, these they're just crazy. I mean, you know, typical Nintendo stuff. Um, oh. Right, let's talk what comes with the box. Uh, you get a Nintendo Switch, obviously the tablet thing. Uh, you get a docking station uh, for the TV. You get two detachable Joy-Cons, one each hand, obviously. I don't mean two mm -hmm. sets. Uh, you get these little strap-ons, <laughs> are we calling them? Uh, you slide <laughs> these little things on, and you've got like a wrist strap. And um, you know you can separate the Joy-Cons, and you can have one. So it's like um, you could each have one. You could, two people could have one and play sure. a game like an old SNES or whatever uh, gamepad. Uh, you slide it onto them and it increases the shoulder buttons to make it a little bit more comfortable, which is kind of cool. They come free in the box. Um, you get a okay. Joy-Con grip, which I thought was quite cool that they bundled this in. Um, it's that, I don't know if you saw it, but it's like a it's like a more traditional Joypad and you slide your Joy-Cons into it. I think it might have a bit of extra battery in there as well. Yeah. Cool. Okay, um, that's kind of good. See, yeah, that's good, isn't it? For for the price you're getting, it's not bad. Like at launch, two eighty. I mean, hopefully, they their prices will incrementally go down. So, you know, they'll be they'll <laughs> maybe be deals quicker than you think. Well, maybe, but you say that, but the Wii U still was quite expensive, like years mm. later. So, you, there's no, you know, no of it and stuff. Um, as for power, they had unbelievably. They, unbelievably they wouldn't talk about their specs and stuff but it's still believed um that it's running the tegra x1 a modified tegra x1 chip similar to the nvidia shield and their gaming tablet um and how that works is you will get um, improved graphics when it's docked but how it works is it's not the dock doesn't have processing power it's the processing power is all still in the tablet it's just mm. it down clocks itself when it's in tablet mode to say battery life so it's less powerful, but it's just like down clocking the, the processor, so it's not working as hard, if you will. Um, mm. And what that Would means that be is... detrimental? Yeah, you know, it depends how it's implemented. If it's done well, I'd imagine developers who don't know what they're doing and can't get their head around it will fuck it up probably quite bad. Um, or they'll just do the lowest common denominator and just put the lowest setting and not up, like, up res it for the docking version because mm. that's probably cheaper to mm. do. So basically what that means is... Um, your games will run at 720p on the handheld probably usually 30 frames per second most of the time um, mm. and it will run at either 900 or 1080p and I suppose they could increase the frame rate as well and they could change it from 30 to 60 although that might be too complicated to do but yeah basically so you'll get either anywhere from 720 to 1080 once docked so again not bad I mean it's cool it mm. was hopeful that it was you know, 720p on a home console sort of aspect would have been just ridiculous, wouldn't it? Like, mm. in this modern day where Scorpio is trying to chase down 4K, it's like, yeah. I mean, personally, I'm not a res resolution whore, but, you know. So, I I mean, that that's all the information I've, I've got. I'm sure there's things I've missed. Um, but, yeah, as a whole, what I've taken from it is there's some good, there's some bad. It's a, a mixed bag, but the bad's really bad. Um, uh, the 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 hardware I think is really cool. I think it's smart and even you know to a degree it is. I'm not going to say revolutionary, but you know it's innovative. You know, so I'm I'm into the hardware. It's just typical Nintendo. Everything else, all the back end stuff is just fucked. Really, most of it. So 
you know, that's the takeaway I take from it. I mean, you know, you know what do you think about it? what what positives would you take from it? As someone who's perhaps well, definitely not a you know casual Nintendo fan, but perhaps more you know casual in the being on the uptake of new hardware and stuff. What what would your positives be? You know, uh, it's it's hard to say. I uh, I mean I I understand completely what you're saying. Um, I think the price is good. I think the overall price for the base system. <sighs> It's, I, it's good, not great. It sounds. I didn't know. It sounds like you get a fair bit of bang for your buck. Yeah, yeah. Which is weird uh, in comparison to the generosity there. Yeah. But then they fleece you completely yeah. if you want to. Yeah. Uh, buy any extra, uh, or, or if something breaks. I mean, if like my PS4 pad went a bit manky, so I had to buy another one. I thought this is fucking expensive. What if there's problems with? the joy cons what if they're not designed perfectly you have to buy another one of them they're way more expensive than like a ps4 pad you know absolutely so uh, you know i mean it's got like the inter i think the internal storage was a good move as well don't do proprietary put an sd card in you can get like a 256 gigabyte sd card probably for like i don't know 20 30 quid which is decent maybe mm. cheaper i don't know um you know, and it, they might be able to take up to one terabyte, which is a fair amount of storage for how small... All, all you'd ever need, really, I should yeah. imagine. I think it's micro SD, actually. But, yeah, it just shows how fucking tiny they are. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's it's the good with the bad. The launch lineup, not great. Not great, you know. I think... Not the worst that's ever can... been. There's probably been worse lineups, but it's not great. I think they can expect, basically, the same uh, thing to happen as... Has happened with all of their consoles, really. I, I'm. I, I hope not. I really hope that you know they can make something out of this. That they can, because I think the hardware is cool. It's just like whereas I didn't feel that with the Wii U. The Wii U's hardware I always thought was stupid and didn't really make sense. So, you know, I, I feel like the hardware is cool, and I don't want to. I don't like. I don't want to see that fail. And like Nintendo, as much as um, I. I don't want to see them fail. I'd like to see them stay in the race and keep Xbox and PlayStation honest. But I think it'd be preferable that they um, that they maybe in some ways just stopped and started putting their games on PlayStation and Xbox and Steam because they make great games. There's no doubt in that. They, I mean, they like, do. they're, they're I, particular they, to a is, certain style, but yeah. it's hard to know what they're. Um business model is in the end do they rake yeah. in enough in a short amount of time while well, they, something's they make... on hype yeah i don't know and they do that whole thing where they uh, make artificial scarcity of their products so no uh. one can get them at launch and then everybody and then they try and build buzz around it i don't know if that's i, I remember that, that i remember work? the we chase yeah taylor wanted a crazy. week and, you got one from um, germany didn't you that's i your friend asked a friend germany whose brother was working on business in Germany and he brought up over about five consoles. Yeah. That was crazy uh, back then. It's like... It was insane. Or, or face your child hating you forever. You probably could have <laughs> sold that. You probably should have been like, fuck you, Taylor. I need and to. <laughs> sold it for like... You could have sold it four they, times. They were going for value, 800 probably. pounds. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I probably should have done that and bought one like two <laughs> weeks later. When they yeah, were it wouldn't have been two weeks, but you could probably got one six weeks later or something. It's like they do that artificial scarcity thing. It's like you know, but might I be a money works, maker for uh, people who are looking. <laughs> yeah. Christmas time. Yeah, well, you say that, but I bet you would imagine they wouldn't do it again at four because that'd be stupid. Because I'd imagine that's when they'll sell the most because Mario is going to be bundled and mm. a lot of people are going to be hyped for that. So. I mean, I was before this really consi genuinely considering getting a Switch. I don't think I was thinking to get it at launch, but I was genuinely thinking I'll get one at fall. And I haven't owned a Nintendo console for, I can't remember when, maybe a GameCube or something. Mm. Like, um, And I was genuinely thinking about getting this. But after this really shit presentation, I think, again, typical Nintendo, like they really need to follow what Microsoft and Sony are doing because they nail their... Uh, presentations ps4 mm. pro excluded because that was shit but normally they just nail them and um yeah this was 
not good. It was a really bad presentation and and I was genuinely thinking, but I'm thinking now probably just not. I can wait. I mean, the Mario looks great and the Zelda looks great, but, you know, I'll just wait till there's a price drop. And, you know, and it, if they... And to also, you've got to wait and see people's reviews as well. There might be yeah. more than let on. There might well, be all yeah, kinds well, of problems. Well, we, do, we don't know what all the things are. I mean, they're not even talking about what the actual specs of the system are yet. So there's still don't things they're Don't you find that terrifying? Strong. Yeah, but they're trying to get uh, ahead of we it. We can't tell you that. <laughs> they're trying to get ahead of the whole, yeah, well, PS4 Pro can do this, Scorpio can do that. What can your system do? They're trying to be, you know, get ahead of that sort of stuff. But, mm. you know, I feel like there was a potential sale there for them from me, and I'm not sure that there is anymore. And if they dig their heels in and don't drop the prices, I have a feeling I may end up never buying that system. Mm. So... For me, it's I'm a, I'm gonna wait and see for a price drop, and then if I've got the money, I'll probably get in because there's some cool stuff there, and I really like the tech. But there's it's such typical. I mean, the network stuff it's just ridiculous. It sounds like a, you know, what PlayStation was ten years ago and what Xbox was twelve, mm. thirteen years ago. It's like, you know, you you mentioned a small price. I don't see a small price. I think they'll want to compete. It'll be at least yeah, thirty pounds. They a year. can't charge like what PlayStation and Xbox are charging. I think they'll they're giving... try. Oh, they might, but that will be. I think such... they'll try. That'll be such a huge failure, and That's the... just in time and for the... the fall as well. Uh, with PlayStation, you buy uh, a PlayStation Plus. Well, you get your PS Plus free games. They're yours mm. forever as yeah. long as you have yeah. subscription forever. Exactly, and there's they... usually about three or four. I mean them. They're not always good ones great. too. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes great, great games. Sometimes, which is yeah. you know value for money. Two, two, three, four a year of de decent games. And and what they're giving you on the Switch will be essentially like ROMs, a demo, of, a taster of like games that I can emulate. True, illegally if I don't own the copy, um, <laughs> but I can emulate them on the PS. I mean, on the PC, you can emulate them on your phone uh, for <laughs> free, pretty much. You have to buy the emulator, probably, but, you know, for free. And you can have their entire back catalogue. Obviously, you're not going to have the same tactile inputs and stuff, but you could plug in, you know, your PlayStation or Xbox controller into your PC. And it's <sighs> like, oh, you can't do that. And plus, so many people probably already own those games on, like, Wii U and Wii. It's like, oh... They're just always trying to sell a three-legged horse, aren't they? It's, it's what you find, what you find with Nintendo seems to be, is for this. I was really hopeful before, but it's for me, it's one step forward, two steps back. Or maybe that's a bit mm. harsh. Maybe it's two steps forward, one step back. But there's there's good in there, but there's a lot of bad mm. as well. And you know, they've really got to, they've really got to work that out, and they've really got to get their marketing on point to not lose people like me forever who were genuinely considering buying a system and... And, don't, you know, it's not all now. about the kids. The people who are spending money on their consoles now are, are, are mostly adults. Yeah, well, that adult Buy range has, has grown Adults have the money. Yeah. I mean, that it's grown because so many people, like, game games as a medium is so old now that you've got, like, 50-year-old gamers and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So... There's a much larger adult range, you know what I mean, for games and stuff that Xbox and PlayStation have got onto. You know, they, they've realised that mm. for a couple of years, well, for a decade now, you know. So, you know, I, I don't know. I, I'm hopeful they'll turn it around, they'll put the marketing on it. But it's Nintendo. They're going to, even if they do some things right and they fix some things, they're going to, they can't help themselves, I don't <laughs> think. I just don't think they can help themselves. So, yeah, it's all the a sad tale. All the best to Nintendo. I really hope they turn this around and make me want to buy a console in you know six to eighteen months from now. But at the moment, you know, I, I, you know, I think it's a they've shot themselves in the foot. I mean, it's not over. I still think they've got a chance to bring it that back. And if they do, I think they'll probably sell like twenty million, thirty million units, maybe more, which is probably which will probably end up being like two three times more than the Wii U, but I don't think they're going to match even Xbox's numbers in terms of sales. So 
I mean, I'm hope I hope I'm proved wrong, but I'm I'm not sure I will be. So. Yeah. 